heavy mist veiled ships of the home fleet anchored in the Firth of Clyde to be reviewed by the Queen. 73 men of war contributed to a spectacular show of naval power as the Royal Yacht Britannia arrived with the Queen and Duke. HMS Kent, a guided missile destroyer, was one of the ships listed for a personal visit by the Queen on the day preceding the actual review. The commanding officer, Captain R.A. Begg, presented to her representatives of all departments of the ship's company. Next came Dreadnought, the Royal Navy's first nuclear-powered sub. Her Majesty was invited to go down into Dreadnought, an invitation which a less spirited sovereign might have hesitated to accept. It does look a bit forbidding, but not enough to daunt the Queen. This being holiday time, hundreds of people grabbed the chance to go afloat and see the Queen at fairly close quarters. The depot ship Maidstone was then visited. Meanwhile, the Prince of Wales and Princess Anne had a look at Dreadnought. As the day drew to its close, it looked as if the weather was set fair for the review next day. And set fair it was, as Britannia made her stately progress down the lines of the men of war. The Queen and Duke stood on the bridge of the Royal Yacht. Perhaps senior officers and ratings reflected on the great changes that have taken place in the Navy since royal reviews before the Second World War, when there were no nuclear weapons and the huge battleships were supreme. To all, from the Queen to the humblest ratings, the Royal Review was a stirring pageant of naval strength. <laughs>